Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have another Iron Man. It's going to be a 2v2 Iron Man, $100 per team, so the winning team is going to win $100, and the losing team is going to lose $100, and this is the run back from yesterday, and we are going to have Nesh on Team 1 versus Big James on Team 2. Also, you can go ahead and check out Nesh's Twitch down below, and you can go ahead and check out the Coliseum as the place where this was hosted. You can check out that Discord link down below if you want to play any of these yourself. And then hopping right in, we're going to see Big James win the Rock, Paper, Scissors, Shoot. And they'll go first, 40 versus 41. Opening hands, we have Heartbeats, Orange Light, Planet, Agito, Havness. They have Prosperity, Robin, Ostrich, Shifter, and Perm. Okay, so Big James definitely opened good. Opened Robin, that's already good. And then Shifter with it, and Prosperity. But they did open Havness, Orange Light, Agito, so... That's kind of a lot. They're going to orange light the shifter and then get the Agito effect. So, mill five on both sides. Oh, we see on this side, Rhino merely Rhino being milled. And on that side, they lose two adventure and an eagle. Last time they milled three adventure. I mean, it does suck if you mill all three. It's a little bit unfortunate, but, you know, you can ostrich banish it. Two can grab it back. Activate Miri and Rhino. So, we're going to discard Havness. Put back merely and a rhino engraver. Bring out Kit Kalos. And then new chain link, Havnus 1, Kit 2, Rhino 3. That goes through. They're not going to try to like imperm the Kit Kalos or anything. Then, you know, they're going to wait. Uh, they can imperm the interruption if they want. Grab Solik. And then dump Shaylin. And then uh, Havnus is going to put back. Yeah, I need, yeah they need to resolve Havnus. Yeah. So put back Havnus and Magma, and then that brings out Mud Dragon, and now new Chain Link, activate the Shaylin effect, and then Chain Mud called Dark, so they're thinking they're going to activate and perm on Mud Dragon. Okay, well, you can't ever target Mud Dragon, because whatever attribute Mud Dragon is, your opponent can't target, so... Yeah, <laughs> you can't do that. So that's ah, gonna go through. Said no is a misclick. <laughs> okay, so activate prosperity, and then go banish six, and then look at the top six. So that's gonna go through. So they have Dragos to Paleo, which isn't bad. Uh, Ultimate Slayer, if you read it, says target, which is why it didn't work against like the. The sprite end board against like the toad, which is why you needed the link to out the elf. But you know, you're not gonna be able to target either of these, so those don't do anything. The shifter doesn't do anything, the prosperity doesn't do anything, ash doesn't do anything, so you left a statue really. But then, like, that's a lot of engine. Oh wow, yeah, they just go ahead and emit the feet. So, on to the next game. We're gonna see Big James go first. Opening hands, we've got Merely, Rhino, Agito, Shinland, Terraforming. Thing about this matchup too is terraforming game two, game three searches planet or searches zombie world. Zombie world is crazy. They have shifter, prosperity, duality, map, duality. Okay, well, most likely this hand is going to be nice. So they drop shifter and then they're going to drop a Guido to put a body on board so that way you know this can force out the statue. They're going to activate prosperity and then go banish six and then just look at the top six. So maybe we see okay, Eagle, Robin, yeah, Ugh, those are those are pretty good. Those are pretty good. And then I wonder if they're gonna activate Duality now or wait till after their plays. Okay, yeah, activate Duality now. It's gonna say because they put five to the bottom of the deck. Grab unexplored wins. Probably was hoping for like an auto win there, like a Harpy's Trap maybe. Uh, D Fissure, Macrocosmos if they play it. Activate map, activate unexplored win, and then activate map effect. Reveal eagle, banish robin, summon eagle one, robin two. So grab back robin, and then eagle go search, grab empin. And then we're going to tribute the eagle and a guido to summon out empin. Yeah, unexplored wins if your opponent summons bodies turn one. Very, very, very free. So we're going to summon, go search. Okay, and then, well, I mean, I don't know why they did it like that. They said summon from Empen, but you'd 
resolve empen and then do that but it's fine effects robin one eagle two go grab statue and then summon statue set the trap card pass draw keldo go main phase activate terraforming and then terraforming is going to go search out zombie world so think on resolution think activate dreaming town and then summon eagle uh yeah apex avion is in their deck Great, or they grab Mega Monarch. Tribute, summon, rise a target, my shifter, my Ryza. Okay, and then Robin Eagle. Um Okay. Activate Zombie World, Normal, Battle. So they don't play oh, not playing Apex Avion sounds kinda crazy though. Maybe they were just Thinking there's no point of Apex Avion? I don't know. Um, yeah, they're gonna go battle phase, attack, and then main phase two. Cause like, I don't think Apex Avion was like that good before, but I don't know. I mean, there's, there's like Zombie World, people play Dark Hole and stuff now. Those cards are pretty good. Go for number 41. And the fact that you have to actually stop them from getting to this card. I know Mega Monarch can help out with that. But uh, I, I feel like... Ooh, we already knew that was their top deck. So we know what they duality. They're going to see Mega Monarch. So they're going to drop Shifter. They got hit with the 1-2 the combo. The Zombie World Babuska. And then they're going to activate Unexplored Winds. Draw Effect. Okay. So... Put back, draw Mega Monarch, and then activate Duality. So we could have duality first to change the order of the deck, but we decided not to. Wants to draw the Mega Monarch specifically, and then grabs Adventure off the duality. And then, yo, bro. Wait, is this turn taking like a very long time or something? Oh my gosh! Yeah, it's been a seven minute long turn. You've activated duality and shifter. Activate map. Then map will reveal eagle. Go banish Robin. Summon. And then they're going to try to tribute set. But that's not going to work. It, like, it's still a tribute summon. Even though it's a tribute set. Now that a player contributes to the monster set of zombie monsters, set works, tribute sets the same. It says stop, holy, I know my rulings. Yeah, and they, they just agree, because like, okay, you know, it, it's Nash, it's Nash. They could have called Judge Love if they wanted to, and got the actual ruling, but maybe somebody else, like, in a in the VC or in, like, the Discord call was like, nah, bro, you're dumb. You normaled at this turn, or am I wrong? Yeah, the Eagles in defense because the Babushka passed or have this. Uh, have to detach. And then battle phase, attack. Okay, so sign to try to get on the aggressive here. You can't do that because you have to banish a winged beast monster and it's a zombie. Holy. Yeah, you can't, you can't do that though. That's not going to work. Unfortunate. How? Tell me how. <laughs> then we're gonna go Zeus. Oh man, they they fumbled the bag a few times this match. Go in the Zeus, and then pass. Draw Robin. You have to Zeus during like draw phase. They waited though, so that way they weren't under shifter anymore. But you like have to, right? Wait, 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 Nush, because you know they have Mega Monarch. They literally, like, put it to the top of the deck and drew it on purpose. So you know that they could just tribute for Mega Monarch. And then, like, wait, what am I talking about? There's literally Zombie World there. What am I talking about? Yeah, no, why would you ever get rid of your Floodgate? I'm so dumb. You you make this deck commit to try to make an XYZ to out it. And then you Zeus. So they're going to go Unexplored Winds. Put back Robin, Mega Monarch, draw Eagle, map. Now I'm starting to be a bot. <laughs> Activate Zeus effect to wipe during end phase, chain adventure, banish Eagle from hand, go search Toucan, gain 500 life points, and now everything's wiped. We have an open field to 
attack. We did only have merely. Uh, but I guess our opponent also has a Dark Engrave, so that makes it a lot easier to combo. Another thing you guys should know that nobody's doing is this is a level 6, right? So if you, you know, make your opponent mill, and they mill this, you can Dark take it and make Beatrice with it, and it makes it even easier to get the Zombie World. Let's all combine together and find all the ways to beat Flunder. Let's get this deck out of the format. <laughs> for once and for all, it's such a bad deck. Summon merely, merely effect. And then go mill three. And then, all right. Okay, okay. We see Necro World Banshee and Kelbeck. So, Kelbeck effect, mill five. Even if we don't hit anything, our opponent will lose to the floodgate that is produced. Uh, and we hit Shaylin and Rhino. So, then that's like actually game. Uh, we could just go for game right here very easily. I wonder if Big James is going to stay in it or just scoop it up. Wait until there's 8,000 damage on board, maybe. Uh, Rhino, Kit, yeah, they go ahead. Next is Splite Meta. GG's, GG's. Alright, on to the next one. So we're going to see Nesh on Team 1 going against Splite Meta on Team 2. It is only a 2v2. Now we're going to see Nesh win the Rock, Paper, Scissors, Shoe. And then they're going to go first 41 versus 40. Opening hands, we have Havnus, Keldo, Kelbeck, Mudoria, Orange Light. They have Rhino, Solix, Scream, Rhino, Havnus. So go main phase, activate Keldo, discard Kelbeck, summon, go search Agito. Then activate the Kelbeck effect in graveyard to force mill 5 on both sides. And then looking at the mills, see Rhino, Merely, Agito, Orange Light, Rhino. And then they mill Kelbeck, Merely, Havnus, Blue. Uh, if they try to use multiple effects, they're going to get hit with the Keldo, shuffle back off the field. So, merely one, why you got to keep going thing on? <laughs> merely one, Rhino two, Agito three in hand, Chainlink four, Havnus, Chainlink five, merely, Chainlink six, Kelbeck, Chainlink seven, Orange Light, discard Midoriya, Chainlink eight, Midoriya, to shuffle back. Okay. Um, fair enough. We, wait. Okay, yeah, because we orange light their Kelbeck, so now we got to resolve the Aikido in hand, and then Rhino, and then Mewley. So put back, bring out Kekalos, and then now here, said, yo, I have my chains, my B, my B. Yeah, I was about to say, because we're going to get Kit 1, Havnus 2, and then we're going to go Rhino 3. The opponent just admits defeat there. So on to the next game then. Uh, we're going to see Splite Meta go first. It, is this going to be like a that quick of an Iron Man? I mean, I, I, I got some hope in Splite Meta. We got Sornir, Orange Light, Kelbeck, Shaylin, Planet. They have Talents, Red, Kelbeck, Jet, and Talons. Okay, so they're playing Sprite. Normal Summon, Special Summon, Effect. And that goes through. Go search Smashers. Overlay, make Gigantic. Gigantic Effect, they let that go through. Even though they have Orange Light and Sornir. They are playing Tier, so if they are locked in the twos, they're doing way less than they were before. Bring out Diviner, Diviner Effect, Chain Orange Light to go ahead and stop that. And then we're going to get Kelbeck Effect, Mill 5. And their mills aren't nearly as good as our mills because, you know, they're going to get Solik Effect and that's it here. While, I guess we're going to get Agito Effect. <laughs> so Solik 1, Agito 2, Force Mill 5. We hit no tears again. Nah, that's just, that's just not real. That was like almost guaranteed hit a name off of mill 10. We only have one in hand. We could also hit Rhino. Like having the one in hand actually increases the chances because now we can hit Rhino. Wow. Okay. And then they also mill like a Keldo. They're going to get, you know, Solik, Go Search Havnus. Activate Talents to look at the hand. Hit back Planet. Okay, and then activate Keldo effect on their Keldos and Gamma to put back, and then they're going to chain Keldo, so Keldo's going to banish to put back Jet, Blue, and Terraforming. So take the sprite cards out of their graveyard so that way Smashers can't be activated. Makes it a lot harder for that to do anything, they've already normal summoned, so they have to have like a level 2 extender. 
to be able to make the Smashers live, unless they have one in hand, but at that point they're paying such a big cost for Smashers that it's just fine. Draw Shaylin. Go main phase, activate Shaylin effect. That goes through. So discard a Shaylin, special Shaylin, mill three, hits the Medora, Rhino, and Havnus. And then they don't have any graveyard shufflers. So that's kind of tough. They're going to go Shaylin 1, Havnus 2, said bruh. Yeah, they did hit pretty good there. Put back Havnus, Rhino. But, uh, but like, like, you can't complain, though, because, like, last turn they could have hit, like, good cards out of their 10 mils, and they really didn't hit a lot of good cards out of their 10 mils. And then put back, make mud, new chain link. They're going to decide to not activate the Kikalis effect because they do not want to trigger Havnus. And also the set card could be Solik, but I guess we'd play around Solik even if they have have this just by using this to call Dark. But attack, attack, attack. And then main phase two, make Abyss Dweller, Abyss Dweller effect, attach Shaylin, so now if they want to drop Havnus, it's much more fine. And then Kikalos effect, tag out, bring out Shaylin, and then activate the Kick Graveyard effect to mill five. We're going to see Solik. Here to use Havnus, right? Yep. We do hit Solik, though. We hit Kelbeck, and we can Kelbeck very freely because our opponent hasn't really done anything. They're under Dweller. So they can they can drop Kelbeck here to out Dweller. But there's a chance that Dweller just gets made again on them. So, mill five. Mill five. Hey, there we go. There's a bunch of the sprite cards in Graver that we needed for Smashers. And then they're going to grab Rhino. They said, thank you. Did you normal summon? No. Kelbeck will summon and bounce back Dweller. Yeah, it's just like the problem is if they want to, they can just make it again. Summon, effect a dump. That's going to dump Merely, activate the Merely effect. That's the last name. And put back Merely, put back Kikalos, bring out Garua. And then summon Sornir by banishing Magma. Overlay, make Wallow, and then Wallow effect to take the TTT. Okay, and then Garua effect, draw Gamma, unfortunate. Activate Talons, said, why are you showing? Did you not want to? We are considering to take... But now they know the hand. <laughs> yeah, they're just going to hit back Havnus. Because, like, it, taking was definitely a real possibility there. I mean, it is a level 4. It's a free body. You know, you, you could take, make Dweller, make Dark, Dark take, and then go, like, Elf. You do something like that. I don't know. I mean, you won't have a merely engraver You're just swimming back, though, so Elf's not nearly as strong. But overlay now, make Time Thief Redoer. Pass turn, draw Druus Worm. Standby phase, effect to attach. It's a Havnus, still in standby phase. Redoer effect, detach Shaylin. Uh, they don't get Havnus. So they're going to go Shaylin 1, Druus Worm 2, Midoriya 3, and they don't want them getting the body. And now they know the top deck too, and they know there's such smashers. So when they say proceed there, they really know that the opponent's only play is it to, I mean you could, I don't think you normal now, there's never a world where you like normal summon attack and out the, especially because this is getting 18 attack, this is a, this is a big body, you're going to tribute set past or orange light. And then normal summon orange light, use those, make sprint, sprint effect, dump merely, merely effect, and there's just nothing to stop them here. Yeah, go ahead, put back, GG's, GG's, oh wait, yeah, they forgot Redoer, that's true, Redoer by itself was just game, because they would have Redoer, plus they would have Wallow, and just those two can go in the dark, and then make sprint, and then sprint is game, 
Uh, you can go Kekalos, Kekalos, grab Rhino. I don't know, summon Rhino or what? Wait, do we only have we only have one Aqua? Okay, yeah, I guess because we made the Garua. I mean, you can still make Kit, grab Rhino, summon Rhino, and then do anything. I guess make Dragos to Palea and that. Might not even be enough for game. I mean, you're close. You, you can definitely get there. You can definitely get there. If you think about it, you can definitely get there. It shouldn't be that hard. They're only at 38. If they were at 8,000 and had Drew a Swarm set, maybe. But we could also just, like, I don't know, kick Kalos Mill 5. And, like, we're almost guaranteed to just win anyways. Just shuffle back with Kaleido. But, yeah, I just realized you need Vanita. Said, I feel you. By GG's. Yeah, their hand was kind of whack. But, alright, we're gonna end up seeing Nesh sweep them again in the run back. So I wonder, will there, because there was already the first one, there's the run back, will there ever be the third Iron Man between them? Because right now, Nesh is, Nesh is going off. He hasn't lost. So will, will they come back? Will they come back with the same decks? A tier in Flounderies? Will they realize that Flounderies? Is really bad. It has a bad matchup into the best deck. And the best deck is like, you know, I got like, what, 70 something percent, like, in top cut in these last tourneys. Kind of scary to play that deck. Um, they did draw Shifter a lot. I'll give them that. They have been drawing Shifter a lot. That is usually a pretty good win con. But with all that being said, the DB Grinders signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.